This time on the show, carving hidden files with Scalpel, booting USB drives in Linux from QEMU, and VNC tips for Backtrack and Android. All that and more, this time on Hack5. This segment of Hack5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello and welcome to Hack5. My name is Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. This is, of course, your weekly dose of Technolist. Yes, it is, and I am so excited. Oh, you're getting all command prompt happy now. You're learning some shortcuts, huh? Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, all right. Save it for the B-Block, right, man. Save right. it for the B-Block. You're just saying. I'm just, just saying. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Guess what? what? We got an awesome gift this week. Uh-oh. I actually don't know what it is, but it's really big. Do yeah, you want to see? Yeah, thank you, everybody, for all the, like, you know, <laughs> holiday festive gifts and stuff. Uh, I, yeah, I really we really appreciate, that. appreciate we love, it. We love it. We've stopped opening them <laughs> ahead of time, so really they're all like we're in it. We really don't know when we're opening uh, these, what they are. I'm kind of hoping that we have time to uh, uh, actually decorate oh, that's these. <laughs> that's a. <laughs> that's your. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Anyway, okay, so what's here, this? Here, I'll read this. You guys are the best. Just, just check the readings. <laughs> if Shannon got, got earrings, then Darren must get token rings. I hope this finds its way into your reuse project. I'm having fun with the USB rubber ducky and saving my Christmas money for the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark III. And this came from Dave. Oh my god. What is that? Token ring? Uh, what is know, a token ring? Uh, it's it's like a puff oh, puff well, give kind of thing. No. Um, <laughs> Other than that. Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> What it is is, uh, welcome to the Bay Area, no. Uh, what it is is, um, yeah, California. You, know, you know, Ethernet is awesome. Oh. This is like before Ethernet. This is like. This is this is scary stuff. Wow. The, the beautiful thing about these token ring guys is if Paul and you and I were token rings, we'd all be like holding hands and if you wanted to like, or I guess we'd have to have four of us for this example, and Kirby. So you and Paul and Kirby and I were all like holding hands. Yeah. And you want to talk to Kirby, then you'd have to go through me to get to Kirby. And then Kirby would go through me to get to you, right? And yes. then like I drop out. Yes. And then like suddenly you can't. Oh talk no! To Kirby. Can't yeah, talk to oh her. No. Well, actually, oh, you can go around. The okay. Anyway, the idea is it's totally so that's archaic networking stuff. And okay. What's really fun is I hear, I've heard stories of pen testers that keep token ring connectors in their bag because every now and then Wait, they're on a pen test. Dude, <laughs> you wouldn't. You'd be. Uh, I would not about, be caught dead carrying that in a backpack. There's a very <laughs> special subset of our audience, well, just the cable to interface to it, but there's a very special part, uh, subset of our audience right now that's nodding their he heads in delightment because... <laughs> they're uh, all going, that's because totally they're like, me, that's totally they're like, yeah, I've yeah. seen some crazy stuff that. on a pen test. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I know. Well, Exciting, huh? Speaking Thank of you. awesome little toys, you also got this thing, the Samsung Galaxy It's the Samsung Pop-Tart. I'm breaking uh? it. This yeah, seriously, the size of a freaking pop tart. Yeah, um, actually, I need to make like a custom jello skin on the back that looks like a pop tart, because then I can be all like, yeah, I'm really talking to the pop tart cat. No way, you're right, Paul. It should totally be pop tart cat. Um, what I love about this, boxes on the set for a reason. Get this. Okay. I, I, I love marketing speak sometimes. You gotta handle Samsung. And this is in French, even though. Uh, it's in Portuguese. Well, the, the inside's all in Portuguese because oh, okay. I had to buy Got an it. international unlocked one. This, right. this is my Christmas gift to myself. Every year I do something stupid, and this is ridiculous. This, <laughs> this is like, is something stupid. <laughs> well, it's like the EPC 701. This thing is either yeah. going to be the mother of all, some new generation of device that's cool. The mother of all, awesome. Or this is going to be the first and last of its kind, like the Kin. And like, <laughs> we'll never see pop up zones again. Wait for it. Dairy. Oh, jeez. All right, Don't fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, sure, whatever. Anyway, I love that it says, with its 5.3-inch HD Super AMOLED display and SPED interface, quote, it empowers you with everything you can ever desire so that you can simply feel free. <laughs> Can we put that on the Wi-Fi pineapples? I mean, can I just That's do kind that? That's awesome. It's like, would you like everything you've ever desired? It's, it's, it's and in it this even box. comes with a pen. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, I know. Like, so I, I'm all like, let you're me. You're doing let something me, pretty cool with this, beam, right? Can you beam? Can you beam your contacts to me on my Palm Pilot? Yeah, I am doing something pretty cool with this. Check this out. Yeah. Paul, what are you doing? I'm gonna see if you can get in tight on this, because uh, what we have there is backtrack. That's Wait, backtrack five. You have in backtrack fact, on your phone. Uh. Yes and no. I have access to Backtrack on my oh. phone. As you can see here, I'm looking at... Uh, That's your computer, isn't uh, it? There's, there's menu and the refresh is a little slow. But uh, yeah, there we go. I just t totally pulled up the menu in GNOME 2 on Backtrack 5. What? 
from my laptop. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I know. I haven't gotten to actually. Backtrack 5 has an ARM build. Mm -hmm. This is an ARM processor. I'm oh, going to be having no. some fun. I know it's really easy to Ooh. do with like the Motorola Zoom. I'm going to see if fun. I can get this guy rooted and do that to this because. All right, cool. 5.3 inches of awesome Wi Fi hacking. Yeah, that sounds my, no. super sexy. It's, it's actually going to be kind of pointless because the device Who cares? most likely does not have you drivers know, everything to do we injection do is pointless. or anything. Woo! We're doing geeky stuff because geeks can geek out. Because we can do it. Yeah. 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 If you live in Thailand, go ahead, turn off my lights. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's how we knew the first episode of Hack 5 ever that anyone was watching the show because they were turning our lights on and off. But okay, you'll, that, yeah, that's You'll have awesome. to go back to 1X01 to find out Wait, about that. Wait, people watch the show? No. Don't tell me that. Shh. That's going to... Oh, no. God. I'm getting nervous. Or at least people do, but they're all bots on IRC. They're all bots. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Bots we love are cool. you, bots. I like bots. Yeah. So what else is going on, man? Uh, we just got a jam-packed segment. Uh, yeah. There's this show, something... Um, it's one of those. <laughs> well, do you want to get it started? Yeah, let's get it started. Right. Now, stay tuned because in just a bit, Shannon's going to be getting her QEMU on. Yes. But first, in 80 of Dual Core is back for another tip on carving hidden files with Scalpel. Hmm. Interesting. Domain.com is owning the competition with cheap domain names and hassle-free service. Our Hack 5 fans are making Domain.com one of the fastest growing domain registrars in the world. And if you're setting up a website to show off your pictures of your cat, brag about your new boating skills, or do something business related, Domain.com is the best place to buy a domain name for your new idea. Domain.com's easy checkout process makes it simple to find your domain name and set up your website without hassles. Domain.com's domain discovery system quickly shows you available names, making it easy to select the domain extension that's right for you. Find a suite.com or get a .co and save a character. Already have a domain somewhere else? It's cool. Transfer it to Domain.com for only $7.61 and get an extra year free. The guys at Domain.com are huge fans of Hack5 and they want to hook up other Hack5 fans. Use the coupon code HAK5 and get 15% off your next domain purchase or transfer. It's only $6.47 for transfers. Don't forget, when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Hey, what's up? This is Int80. I'm the rapper in Dual Core, coming at you with another Hack 5 segment. Going back to the whole, like, having a big scalpel config file is awesome because you can find more stuff. That one dot, one day dot JPEG, there's something hidden in there. So uh, let's take a look at that. So this isn't, like, anything amazing or whatever, but, you know, like, we were looking for a JPEG. We found a JPEG. The JPEG rendered. Cool. It's a JPEG. Except... There's a little more to it. So I've got this, you know, uh, I've got this oday.jpg, and I've got this oneday.jpg. Now the oneday.jpg is our finished product, but the oday is the original. And in addition, I also have this uh, wp3.7-zip, which inside of the 7-zip file is wp3.shell, which is the shell script for the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark III. Right, so we can see our... Um, we can see our shell script, and it's compressed into the uh, WP3 7-zip file. So um, what I've done is it's, this is like real old school, like basic dumping one file into another. But we do a binary copy um, with our oday.jpg plus our WP3.7 uh, zip file, and we store that in our one day.jpg. Okay, so we've got actually a 7-zip file that, contain, that contains our uh, Wi-Fi pineapple script um, embedded in our JPEG. So we weren't looking for a 7-zip file, but if we happen to also have a 7-zip signature inside of our scalpel config, we would also find the additional Wi-Fi pineapple script. So let's go ahead and actually do that real quick just to, you know, verify that it's there. Okay, so what we need is a 7-zip signature. Cool, I happen to have one of those. So let's, um, let's grab the 7-zip signature. And so you can see it's just, just a collection of bytes. And this is defined, again, in the file format for the header. Not very fun to read if you're if you're looking for something fun to do.
But what we can do is say we want to get all the 7-zip files out of, uh, out of our hack5 image. So you may not even be looking for 7-zip files in your investigation, but you might find some. Let's run it, and it looks like it found a file. All right. So we'll go to our directory with the extracted 7-zip files. If we run file against it, which file just checks like the magic number, basically like the header bytes, um, and file says it's 7-zip, cool. Let's try extracting it. Looks like we extracted wp3.sh. And if we load up wp3.sh, we see, hey, it's the shell file for the Wi-Fi pineapple that we embedded into that one day .jpg. So it's like, yo, dog, I heard you like seven zip files and JPEG files. So we put a seven zip file in your JPEG file. So you can carve it out with scalpel. So yeah, that's file carving with scalpel. Um, it really comes down to like the accuracy and the quantity of your signatures. Um, but you can find like all kinds of stuff, even stuff you've deleted uh, just from carving. So it's actually pretty fun. Um, before I wrap up the segment, I got to give a shout out to Craig and Player2 from Hive13, along with my awesome hacker girlfriend, best hacker ever. Um, the three of them together built me this arcade cabinet. It's like a 60 in one. They did it for my birthday um, as a surprise, as part of a like, huge surprise thing for me earlier in the year. Um, so big ups to the three of them. And I love my girlfriend. She's awesome. Best hacker ever. Um, like I said, for uh, scalpel stuff, uh, you can get like the big config on um, my GitHub. It's github.com slash int0x80. I'm int80 on the Hack5 forums. Same handle. You can always holler at me there. If you're on Twitter, I'm at dualcoremusic, D-U-A-L. And uh, just Google dualcore, you'll find us. And if you have like any kind of questions, comments, concerns, uh, fan mail, hate mail, requests for autographs, uh, photos with uh, funny pictures in them or whatever, send them to feedback at hack5.org. Good night, everybody.